Indonesian officials have drawn up plans to divert flights to 10 other airports across the country to stop new holidaymakers arriving should the volcano erupt. They have also made plans to extend tourist visas for stranded travelers in the event of an eruption. Authorities are making plans, after they were left fighting, to clear a backlog after almost 900 flights were cancelled or delayed at Ballas International Airport in 2015 due to a volcanic eruption, causing travel chaos during the peak holiday season. Indonesia's Volcanology Center have said Mount Agung is exhibiting heightened unrest with increased likelihood of eruption. The volcano has not erupted since 1963, when 1,000 died after having only minutes to flee. If a tourist must overstay due to the eruption of Mount Agung, then immigration must provide assistance. Beauty Karya Sumati, Indonesian Transportation Minister Indonesian Transportation Minister Beauty Karya Sumati said preparations had been made in anticipation of any disruption to air travel through the country's second busiest airport. Jakarta, Makassar, Surabaya, Balikpapan, Solo, Ambon, Manado, Praia, Kupang and Banyuwangi airports will step up to become alternative routes should an ash cloud force Bali's Ngurarai International Airport to close. For those already here, plans have been made to extend tourist visas if they are left stranded. Sumati continued if a tourist must overstay due to the eruption of Mount Agung, then immigration must provide assistance related to the extension of their tourist visa. Getty Images Bali Volcano Indonesian authorities have come up with plans for any travelers left stranded wed. September 27, 2017 Mount Agung is seen from the Pemuteran village in Karangasam, Bali Indonesia Getty Images Bali Volcano activity within the volcano has increased in recent days, causing concerntism in Bali is strong, with close to 5 million people visiting last year. Most of their tourists come from Australia, China, and Japan. Bali's airport is operating as normal at the moment, but airlines are preparing for an eruption. Virgin Australia and Jetstar have said they will carry extra fuel in case their planes are required to alter course. Anna Richardson, a British diving instructor living in nearby Aimed described scenes of panic on the ground to The Guardian. Getty Images Bali Volcano Authorities have made plans for any tourists left stranded Getty Images Bali Volcano children have been issued with masks to block ash in the event of an eruption she said the streets were suddenly really busy and there were a few trammers, so there was a mass panic with roads blocked. It took some people six hours to get to center. This drive normally takes two hours. She also described how most dive shops and many restaurants had shut down and aimed over recent days. The UK Foreign Office had updated their advice in the wake of a potential natural disaster. Updating their travel advice on Friday 22 September and confirming it is still current today, the FCO wrote the National Disaster Management Authority raised the volcanic alert level for Mount Agung in northeast Bali to level 4.